And Sarah, you've been looking at slightly more dramatic pictures uh, that was of the, the beauty. Snow. Yeah, here's the beast. Have a look at this then. Uh, this from our weather watcher Liam Kay in Maidstone this afternoon. It was like a blizzard. I mean, there's no other way to put it, is there really? Uh, you know, a lot of snow came down in some places this afternoon. Some places didn't have quite so much, but we all had a pretty fristy, frosty day. And that is nothing compared to what we're likely to see in the next little while. So let me just show you the radar. You can see how hit and miss those showers were. And I just want to show you the snow just uh, making its way a little bit further towards the south and east in the last couple of hours. It's going to sort of wax back northwards in the next little while. But the big story uh, for the time being, for overnight tonight, is the severe and widespread frost we're likely to see. Natalie wanted some good stats. You know, is it going to be the coldest night for a decade? In some places, I think it probably will be, uh, but not just about everywhere, because we did see minus 11.8 back in 2018. But here are those showers. They clear northwards, and then look at these temperatures. I can almost hear you gasping. Minus 10, minus 11 over snow fields, where we've got the light winds under the clear sky. Guys, even if you don't get those really headline figures, you know, it is sub zero right across the board. So, very chilly start tomorrow, but actually, it is drier than we've seen. We've got a change in wind direction to thank for that, and a lot of sunshine. It's not going to help the feel of things, of course. The temperatures after that bitterly cold start are really going to struggle. We'll have another ice day where temperatures don't get above freezing, and we're going to do that again on Friday too. So temperatures are really struggling again into the weekend. The big question on everyone's lips is when does it end? And last night we talked about the battleground with milder air trying to push in from the west and of course that'll mean some snow further west and it looks like that will happen for us slowly through the weekend. So here are the temperatures for the next couple of days. I'll give you a sneak peek at what we think could well happen at the weekend. Not nailed on, but maybe double figures by wow. Monday. Maybe. Meanwhile, minus 10 tonight. Maybe. I did gasp. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's it from us. We'll be back after the national news at 10. Bye bye.